your habits are going to determine your life, not your goals for yourself. This is the hardest work that you must do, but it translates to everything else in life. I'm telling you, bro. What's up, man? What up, gang? Oh, snap. I feel like it's been a minute. Yeah, I sat on my stage. Like, get real quick. So today's video is going to be a little different. I don't know, like, the vlogs ain't really been speaking to me lately, so I kind of had to hit, hit pause on the vlogs. That's why, that's why I haven't dropped a video in a few weeks. There's nothing actually standing in your way except for yourself. So today's video is about getting out of your own way. Because, bro, what? Like, why do we do these things? Like, why are we self-sabotaging? Like, it's crazy because, of course, we go through things. We go through struggles. Like, it's not going to be just a path of no resistance. But there's a certain way to think and, like, carry yourself and just go about certain things that it makes all of this easier. And it's really all a mindset. You may have the perfect opportunity and you're really self-sabotage comment below in the comments if you've ever self-sabotaged before like looking back you can think of a situation where it's like dang like maybe i actually was scared to take the next step because of what was on the other side of that we're not going to talk about ego in the way that we usually discuss ego okay we're going to talk about it and i'm going to try to give you all a different perspective on it also going to talk about sharing god's blessings we're going to talk about how growth is not linear we'll talk about cultivating your full energy level and then we're going to talk about self-sacrificing and self-sabotaging we're gonna get into it okay just stay with me i got y'all these are five ways that you can stop blocking your blessings and get out of your own way one of the first ways that we get in our own way is by having a big ego okay and i myself i have a super big ego i think a lot of us have a really big ego a lot of the times when we're talking about ego we're thinking of it in a way of like a person that's being cocky or arrogant or like overzealous you feel me your ego is built to like it's a construct that's meant to save you so it's like if there's a car coming you're gonna step out of the way because you don't want to die you feel me like that's what your ego is there for it, it wants you to self actualize and like self realize and reach your highest level so coming at this from an angle of just like universal laws and principles energy can't be destroyed or created right so it's kind of the same concept when it comes to ego and people talk about kill the ego can't really kill the ego what you really should be aiming to do is like transmute that lower energy that serpent energy like the only thing stopping us is ourselves it's not a joke when people say that and so i do believe that the closer we get breaking through to the next level we are very liable to self-sabotage if we don't like deep 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 down feel that we are worthy of whatever it is that's being presented to us because if you don't believe you're worthy of it then you subconsciously you're gonna like self-sabotage yourself and like something will happen to where you're not able to move forward and you're like oh like i guess i guess it just wasn't in the cards for me and it's like that's not true bro like i think a lot of the times we we really actually are scared of hitting the next level um because of whatever it may be that's like holding us back internally and so yeah that's what today's video is about it's about overcoming that because i've experienced getting in my own way and i know what it feels like to get out of my own way even me sitting down today making this video what's taking me so long to make a video like this nothing literally just myself so i'm like honestly bro i'm gonna just make the video right now now your lower ego is gonna be the one that's more so operating on like an animalistic level eat sleep survive have shelter the basic maslow hierarchy needs type shit when you think about your higher ego it's kind of like really where your christ consciousness is and like you feel me you just being with everything separate from nothing you feel me type shit just to wrap it up your ego wants to protect you so it's going to keep you from aiming to reach these high goals and all these dreams and aspirations that you have it's going to tell you like bro you're thinking a little too big i think you should chill before we end up getting hurt i don't want to get hurt i'm trying to protect you let's just let's play it small let's just go over there to the corner i want you to dim your light a little bit so that way we can just you know be safe and everything is going to be okay that's where your ego can mess you up the next point is why you should share your blessings but in the sense of like why if god gives you a gift or gives you blessings then why would you why would you hide them like why wouldn't you express or share that with the world why are you hiding god's blessings i don't even know who said it a lot of people have said this but it's like sometimes you gotta pop out and show because you feel me they might really forget and it's like 
I don't even think it's so much about popping out and showing people so they don't forget, but it's more so about popping out and showing up for yourself so that you don't forget. Because when you forget, then you actually forget who you are. And when you forget who you are, you're identifying with a whole nother reality is not even yours for real it's like did you forget who you are that's why i love black panther y'all seen black panther whenever they're about to have a battle for who's going to be the king they say tell them who you are remember that it was like tell them who you are and it's like don't forget who you are bro like do not dim your light if you play it small <laughs> bro you're gonna become small there's no other way around it and that's kind of tying back into like why wouldn't you share god's blessings like why wouldn't you celebrate your growth why wouldn't you celebrate the four progress that you're making it you gotta live aloud you gotta live out loud you got to live out loud bro create a track record create receipts for yourself create confirmation for yourself that's another thing like creating confirmation to affirm that you are actually the person you believe yourself to be do y'all feel me because like that's that's one of my problems like again Back to number one, talking about your ego. My ego's telling me that I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not worthy of this, I'm not deserving of this, I don't actually do these things that I think that I do. But then like, when I actually zoom out, because it's not about my feelings or my emotions, like when I look at the facts, it's like, nah, bro, it's not true. That's not true. And so like, just having these certain things that can serve as confirmation for me to affirm that I am the person that I say that I am. Like, it does something to your spirit because like that's really where the confidence comes from like i'm able to move how i move and like you feel me walk with my head high because like the shit that i do in the dark that nobody sees like the consistency the discipline that i display to myself not to the outside world it prepares me so when i come into the light like bro can't shit really phase me because it's like y'all don't even know i've really been in the field <laughs> you feel me and it's like this is the hardest work that you must do, but it translates to everything else in life. I'm telling you, bro. And I heard once, if you see God knocking on your neighbor's door, you shouldn't get jealous. You should be excited because God's in the neighborhood. One of the, the most important parts of manifesting is acting as if you already have something. Whatever you are wanting to achieve or accomplish or do, you need to act as if you already possess it and it's already happening in this very moment. I can't start acting like a millionaire once I get a million dollars. You know, I have to be the person that can obtain a million dollars before I'm able to get a million dollars. So it's kind of like, you know, just go ahead and build in those, those healthy habits. I don't even know what number we on. Number three, growth is not linear. Um, and so giving yourself grace because honestly, y'all, sometimes it's, it's okay to just exist, bro. Like, and I have a hard time with this, bro. I, I always feel like I need to be doing something, like I need to be accomplishing something. There's always something more for me to be doing, which is true. But at the same time, like sometimes, bro, sometimes you just gotta do nothing, especially as artists and creators and just human beings in general. Like sometimes it's okay to just exist. <laughs> and I have a hard time doing that sometimes, but like we need it. You need those days where you don't do anything. You need those days where you're just chilling with the fam, where you're just chilling out with your friends, where you, you put a movie on. Just actually have a moment to sit down and listen to your thoughts and be aware of where you are mentally and like be able to ask yourself certain questions. Like sometimes, bro, you just gotta <sighs> take a deep breath, bro. And I always come back to this because it, it, it honestly just, it doesn't make me happy, but it's kind of just like confirmation. They're like, bro, nobody actually knows what's going on. Like we're literally just all doing our best with what we have. And like, we're just figuring this shit out day by day. Like you may look at somebody and see the great things that they're accomplishing and feel like they got it all figured out. Give yourself grace, bro. Cause it's like, we're not gonna all have it figured out. I damn sure don't have it figured out, but through, you feel me, God's grace, I've been able to figure it out and just like having faith and just continuing to move forward. Growth is not linear. Like for a year and a half before I moved to New York, I was in Greensboro. I was back, you feel me, I was in the city and I was staying at my mom's crib. Like, so it was like, in my head, did that look like growth for me in that moment? 
I mean, no. In the midst of living there, was I able to like zoom out and see that I was having growth? Like sometimes, but overall, like I didn't feel like I was necessarily making forward progress. But my mom said something very important to that. She knew I was prepared to live in New York based off of our time spent together because she saw my discipline and she knew that I was ready to move to New York. And so like, from my perspective, that time wasn't serving me in a positive way. Now, you feel me, I'm able to look back and know that everything that led up to me leaving for New York was, oh man, so I could, so I can do what I'm doing right now in New York. But when you're in it, you can't always see it. So it's just like, you have to keep moving forward and controlling what you can control because like, Bro, as long as you set the intention and you keep that the main thing like in the back of your head it's kind of like that's like your your guide in light it's kind of like your north, north star like you don't know how you're going to get there but your body is going to pull you closer to that like all of the universe i promise you like god is literally helping you to get there through everything that you're going through like nothing's happening to you it's all happening for you it's so cliche but I cannot express how true it is. I cannot, like, I can't express enough how true it is, as a matter of fact. Number four is cultivating your full energy level. Where attention goes, energy flows, okay? And you cannot focus on the past or the future because they're just not, like, they, they don't, it doesn't exist. When we're thinking about yesterday, or we're thinking about tomorrow takes away from our power to create right now. What you do in this very moment is what determines your the next moments that you have. You feel what I'm saying? And so it's like when you're focused on the past and the future, you're expending your energy in areas that it's not gonna serve you. If you spend all of today thinking about tomorrow, then when tomorrow comes, there's not gonna be any momentum from the previous day that's gonna propel you to have the the tomorrow that you're so concerned about right now. I, I do whatever I need to do today in this moment. Then tomorrow, like everything's gonna work itself out for for itself. Even like going to um to the Lord's prayer, and just a sidebar, I'm not even religious, y'all. Like I definitely I grew up going to church. I grew up in a Baptist church and. Shoot, we used to go to a Methodist church because my best friend, his grandma's church, it was Methodist. And then my grandfather, he's Muslim. So y'all always hear me talking about God, but like I'm speaking on it from like a universal law stance. Like, but I just know the power of believing in something higher than yourself. I'm saying all that to say, like, it says, give us this day our daily bread. So it's like all you can do is take this shit day by day because yesterday is gone. And tomorrow is not even here, bro. Going against yourself is self-sabotage. And when you play a little, when you go against your intuition, when you're not true to yourself, when you're not honest with yourself, you are going against yourself and you're self-sabotaging. It never like crossed my mind to think about it like this. Somebody sent me a list and they had vices on them. It was like a, it was like three different categories of vices. When you self-sacrifice in an excess amount, then that is considered a vice. And a vice is not something that is good for you. We become, like we as in humans, become addicted to negative thought patterns and negative emotions because it's a survival trait. When you get in this cycle of continuously like identifying with your negative thoughts and emotions and beliefs and then you continuously self-sabotage yourself and you just never grow and you're like in this cycle of undesirable events, bro, it's not, it's not, it's not good at all. It's just, it's not ideal. And so like, you can't even, you can't, yourself in that headspace and you can't dim your light bro you can't play it small you can't forget your power you have to affirm that you are the person that you believe you are and how do you affirm that not just through words bro it's through action 
it's through the work that you do in the dark it's through the things that you do every day I don't even know the exact quote, but it's from James Clear um, in Atomic Habits. And he was just saying, like, you don't fall to the standard of your goals. You fall to your habits. It's something like that. And pretty much what it's saying is, like, your habits are going to determine your life, not your goals for yourself. So if you want to go to the league, then you probably should have a habit of putting up a thousand shots a day. If you want to be wealthy, then you should probably establish the habits of a wealthy man or woman investing saving opening up a Rafa account having different bank accounts having a budget like there's just certain things that you have to do if you want to end up with certain results you feel what i'm saying and so that's it bro <laughs> Welcome to my TED Talk. I appreciate y'all listening. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if y'all like videos like this because, again, this is different than what I usually do. We still gonna come with the vlogs. I'm, we still gonna come with the vlogs, all right? Let me know the vibes, and we're gonna be back sooner than later.